Um, so what I have here is sigma. And remember, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finding the sum, right? Our sigma is going to re represent our sum. Where we have 3i is going to be our rule, all right? 5 is going to be the term that I'm going to be terminal. That's where we're going to end. And then i equals 1 is going to be our initial. So what this represents is going to be the sum, OK, um, what I have here. So what this is going to equal is my sum of 3 times 1, which is going to be my first term, right? First term be 1, plus 3 times 2, plus 3 times 3, plus 3 times 4, plus 3 times 5. I'm going to end at 5 because that's going to be my terminal term that I'm going to use. I start at 1. When I plugged in, just remember the sequence. If I said find the first four terms, you'd plug in a sub 1 would be there, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But now we're finding the sum, but we're only going to go up to, it's a partial sum because we're only going to go up to 5. Now I just need to figure out this value. So therefore, I'm really adding 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus 9, 18, 45. So there we go. That's it. Is it that bad? Yeah. Is it? Okay. <laughs>